Let's take a look at parallel transistors. I'm going to put five transistors in parallel. These are two N222s, two, two, and they're good for about uh, 600 milliamps apiece, okay? And then we're going to try to have a load here of about two and a half amps on it. Now, the problem with parallel transistors is that you can have thermal runaway. As the uh, transistor temperature increases, the uh, transistor's beta increases, and it'll pass more current. So if one of them starts to get hotter than the other ones, it'll start passing more current, and then it'll just have a runaway situation where that, that'll uh, draw more current and, and eventually burn up, and then the rest of them will go uh, in suit there. Now, in order to uh, mitigate that, we use a, a, a ballast resistor, an emitter bias, okay? So if we put these emitter bias transistors in here, now the, uh, the advantage of the emitter bias is even though the, the uh, beta varies with the temperature, the emitter current is independent of beta and the current remains fixed. So hopefully these will keep it from uh, having any thermal runaway, okay? So now uh, to find the, um, the base uh, resistor, there's, uh, well, there's better ways to do it than what I did, but I'm just, uh, give me a ballpark figure here. Here on the uh, data sheet here, uh, on voltages here, it says that uh, VCE, uh, voltage from collector to emitter, saturation, the, uh, the base is, uh, current is 10 times less than the, uh, the collector current. So I'm just going to go with that. And so it, I'm going to go for uh, 0.5 amps on the collector. And so the uh, base current is going to be 0.05 amps, okay? And then I just do the uh, uh, Ohm's law there. Now you, you do have a 0.6 volt drop across there. We take that away and it comes out to 220 ohms on, the, on these uh, base resistors here. Now to uh, find the emitter resistor, there's uh, a lot of math that goes into finding that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat here. And I'm just going to take the, uh, base, uh, the base resistor and divide it by beta, okay? So beta on these is about 100, so I'm going to divide that out, and that gets me down to uh, 1 ohm, okay? So, and typically you want to be have about a 1 volt across each of these, okay? So these are all 1 ohm resistors here, and then 220 ohm resistors up here. And uh, we're going to, we'll see if it works. Okay, so here's my <laughs> I just got a battery here, and this is my uh, right, there we go. There we go. Okay, this is my rheostat, and I got my five uh, transistors on there. And let's see if we can see this better here. I'll turn this on. And uh, I've got power coming through here. And so when we put power on the base, we should have some current in here. Let's see what we can get here. Can we see that? There we go. All right. So put that on the base. Okay, and I've got one amp right now, and uh, I'm going to test the, uh, I'm testing the, uh, oh, that fell off, put that back on, and crank up the amps a little bit more. One point five temperatures rising up seventeen seventeen eh, about the same a little more twenty four twenty two okay one point five amps this one's getting hot here, 22, 18, 18, all right, well, we'll keep going, 
about 20 on them not doing too bad for these little tiny resistors hey let's go up to 2 amps there we go I don't have heat sinks on them but they're all getting about 20 that one's uh, 18 that one's hot that's 26 25 20 and then 19 well should we try it for uh, Eighteen, twenty-six, twenty-four, twenty, twenty. Let's go for two, two point five. There we go, a little over. And it's still working, and not bad. Twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-four. That one's thirty-two. That one's getting hot, and nineteen. So, yeah. Anyway, it's uh, it's drawing the. Uh, 2.2 uh, uh, two and a half amps on these little tiny transistors now if I had heat sinks on there that would that would even be better but uh, it's uh, it's looking all right so yeah so anyway that's uh, parallel transistors of course this isn't very practical to do you could have a one transistor will take the uh, 2.5 amps but this just shows you how you can uh, put in your uh, um, you know parallel transistors here so uh, take a look here 20 this is this isn't centigrade so well, that one's 30 now that was 30 that one's 23 and 25 degrees centigrade that one's 30 that one's getting hot and this is 22 but they're still uh, still working anyway that's uh, parallel transistors thank you